If you are a little confused by the thumbnail and the title of this video, let me make it very clear that this is not about the ongoing reports and rumors about a possibility of Mirabai Chanu's weightlifting silver getting upgraded to gold because uh, the gold medalist China's Hao Zihui got dope tested today. Because I think those are random dope tests and she in all likelihood will come uh, negative. But it's about a chance which arrived in front of Mirabai Chanu to vie for that gold on the date of the event. But one big situation totally changed the game and cut short her quest for gold. It's an unknown story. Not people, many people know that and I'll not take credit for it because journalist Mihir Vasavra from the Indian Express broke it and I am telling this on his behalf because I feel if I tell this story, the respect for Mirabai Chanu will definitely go up a few notches higher because of what she went through on that day of the competition. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. So see, everybody knew that in this 48 kg weightlifting uh, category, Mirabai Chanu was favorite to win at least silver. Bronze was not at all a question because the bronze medal winner Indonesia's Aisha Windy Kantika lifted 194 kgs and Mirabai Chanu ended up with silver with 202 kgs. So there was a huge gap. The question was whether gold medalist uh, contender, the favorite for gold medalist Zihui who finally won gold, can Mirabai Chanu compete with her and challenge her? And there was a plan which was in place to give her a tough competition because before the day of the competition that's on Friday when the weights which are to be lifted by the uh, weightlifters are announced Mirabai Chanu and her coach Vijay Sharma had planned to lift 210 kgs remember 210 kgs are, is the weight which Zihui finally managed to lift and win gold but what happened is that Mirabai, Mirabai Chanu by the way her personal best is 205 and in clean and jerk she has lifted 119 that's the world record so it it was possible what happened the night before the competition she had periods and she was in extreme pain the night before the competition and on the day of the competition and that was a huge huge calamity by the way let me make it very clear having periods is not a calamity because it's a natural process not having periods is a calamity for the ecosystem but for Mirabai Chanu on that day having periods was a big game changer because uh, her original plan was to in snatch the plan was to go for 86 kgs in the first attempt she went for 84 finally after she had was having unbearable pain in the clean and jerk her original plan was to lift uh, 113 kgs in the first attempt itself and then raise it to much higher kgs but she lifted started off with 110 kgs in uh, clean and jerk and her coach decided not to exert too much pressure on her because in these kind of competitions she couldn't have gotten a pill out of nowhere and she couldn't have salvaged the situation because the doping laws are so strict that that wouldn't have allowed her to take a pill and uh, take uh, uh, and salvage the situation of her health so because she was in this tremendous pain see she had to lower her uh, the weights she was planning now what happened well, the opponent in snatch, uh, Zihui, started off with 80, 80, 88 kgs and then increased it to 92 and 94. Mirabai Chanu was planning to start with 86 and that didn't happen. Also in the clean and jerk section, the uh, Chinese uh, weightlifter lifted 109 then she lifted 114 and finally managed to lift 116. Mirabai Chanu's first attempt was planned at 113. So there was a realistic chance to put pressure on this Chinese and uh, if you put pressure and had she been able to lift those weights, the Chinese would have been under pressure to change her weights and lift more and that would have given her a slight window of opportunity 
if the chinese would have attempted more weights and failed then mirabai chanu would have gotten into the game the chinese would, would still have been favorites but mirabai chanu had a clear shot at 210 but that didn't happen see in these kind of competitions women wrestlers are accustomed to this kind of situations they track their menstrual cycle so that so that it doesn't hamper their performance but what happens is that at times due to hard workload so much of workload which is associated with weightlifting the menstrual circle cycle gets disrupted and that's what happened with Mira Bai Chanu this is no excuse by any way of any sort of imagination but if you if the ones who saw the competition knew that the chinese wrestler was way ahead of chanu because chanu was lifting lesser weights than maybe she would have attempted in a normal situation so then she decided that she would go for silver instead of gold and that plan paid off so that's why you need to give more respect to mirabai chanu because nobody knew what was going at the back nobody knew about her pain and even she would have had she not been able to lift those weights which got her silver maybe she would have been fighting for bronze but she pulled it off such a mammoth effort with so much of pain her initial plan didn't work out but her plan to make india proud did work out so thanks mihir for this story again and if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. For now, I'll take your leave and I hope India wins many more medals. Bye-bye.